What's up guys, it's Ryan, and uh, today we're gonna be going over every VST plugin that I own or use, because um, it's been about a year since the last time I've done one of these, and somebody asked for an updated list, and I figured this would just be the easiest way to go about it. But first, we have to go over today's sponsor, and today's sponsor is the fabulous and wonderful DistroKid. So DistroKid is a music distribution service that gets all of your music onto basically every streaming and marketplace service you've ever heard of, and way more. So you've got the big ones like Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, Apple Music, Amazon, Google Play, and then you've also got a bunch of smaller ones, and that's super important for in smaller independent artists because you want your music to be everywhere that anybody at all might be looking. So they've got a list of something like 160 stores that they send your music out to. It's crazy. Some you've never heard of and that's exactly why you need, need to be using DistroKid. I've been using DistroKid for about the last year and uh, have had nothing but the best experience. Uh, there's two main things I love about DistroKid. The first one has to be how fast and reliable it is. So the longest it's taken any track to go live on all 160 stores or however many there are, is about a week. And that was the first one. So it's only gotten faster from there. Uh, my first EP, Hey, uh, took about a week, like I said, to get across everything. But my last three have taken probably about three or four days before they were on most of them. So it's super fast, super reliable. Uh, the second thing I absolutely love about it is you get to keep 100% of your royalties. You always hear about how... Uh, Spotify doesn't pay much, iTunes doesn't pay much, and then you have people trying to take another cut of that on other distribution services, but DistroKid gives you 100% of everything you've earned, so that's absolutely fantastic. Can't recommend them enough. Um, so if you click the link in the description below, you can get 7% off your first year. As you can see here, there's three levels of... Uh, of plan. The lowest one is $20 a year, there's $36 a year, and then $80 a year. Um, for me, the main difference is this one, you have one artist or band. The second one, you have two artists. Third one, you have, you have five to a hundred artists or bands. Um, and that's, that's important for me as somebody who likes side projects and to have more than just one band. Um, and also, you get Customized label name, customized release date, uh, pre-order date, customizable iTunes pricing, uh, and a bunch of stuff like that. So, again, click the link in the description below. 7% off your first year, whichever plan you decide. I uh, can't recommend them enough. As you can see, even their competitors love DistroKid. So, I think that says it all. But anyways, let's get back into uh, talking about how much money I've spent on VST plugins. So, all right, so this is a new recording because I was babbling on way too much and it was just gonna take forever. So we're gonna go through this very quickly um, and just knock it out. So this soft tube folder, I downloaded their bundle of stuff. Didn't like it enough for the price, so I don't ever use any of these, but they're still installed because I'm an idiot. We got sound toys, we've got this crazy good decapitator which is a saturation plug in it and models analog sort of feel uh, sounds fantastic on acoustic snare drums acoustic kick drums any acoustic drums and uh, really is what this was made for and I think any snare would benefit from this and a more aggressive style I love it it's fantastic uh, we have echo boy by the same people sound toys the best delay plugin you will ever see or use in your life, and that's a promise. Um, if you know a better one, let me know because I don't believe you. Uh, when you buy Echo Boy, you get Echo Boy Junior, which is just a stripped down version of Echo Boy. Uh, but you know, I've got I've got the real thing, so I'm good to go. And also. If you open up Style Edit, you have all of these parameters to tweak and make your uh, ma make your delay as crazy as you need it to be. I love it. So then we go into Steinberg. 
Steinbrook pad shop. It has some glitches in Ableton, so I typically open it up in FL Studio or Reaper or something and then do whatever I need to do and then bounce it out. Um, so unfortunately can't open that right now. Vocodex also glitched for some reason. Uh, all my Waves plugins, we have API 2500, which is a fantastic compressor. Use it on mainly snare drums um, and whatever I really need to just have that kind of crack that a snare drum typically has. It's fantastic and knowing Waves, I probably bought it on sale, worth every penny. We have the CLA 76, uh, which is another sort of compressor. I've got a lot of compressors because I really just love them. Um, super simple. I use this as kind of a bus compressor a lot. Uh, we got the Bluey and Blackie. They've got pretty distinct characteristics. I think Bluey is typically a little softer and Black is typically a little harder. Could be getting that completely wrong though. I don't know. Um, but fantastic, super simple, sounds great. We have the H delay uh, stereo, or H delay regular, I guess, which is um, my kind of go to for uh, the lo fi delay. It sounds really good. Um, again, I use Echo Boy most of the time. Um, yeah. Sorry I'm not giving examples with every single one of these, there's just way too many, and I got through like three plugins when I was giving examples, and it took like 10 minutes, so it's just too much. Um, we have S1 Imager Stereo, which is just a uh, stereo image plugin. It's pretty simple. I needed it once, so I bought it for like 20 bucks or something like that, used it. And I haven't really used it a ton after that, but if I ever need it, now I have it. Uh, S1 MS Matrix, that probably came with it. I've got no idea what it does. This, I've never used particularly, but I could see myself potentially needing it. Again, these all came in the same little bundle, and it was like $20, and I, I needed it for the one thing I was doing. Um, SSL Channel. This is a fantastic mix of an EQ and compressor and limiter. Um, sounds great on buses. Like if you have a giant bus for like all of your guitars or something and you just need to kind of squeeze them together just a little bit. This is typically my go-to um, or one of my go-tos. I'm going to say I have a lot of go-tos. It's because I do. Uh, they're all fantastic. So this has a really nice analog feel when you switch on that on button it gives you some of those artifacts and the weirdness that comes with analog gear versus the super clean and sterile digital um, you got waves tune which is like the poor man's melodyne uh, I use it whenever I'm dealing with vocals of any sorts which is eh, every now and then that, or that's waves tune light this is the waves tune uh, still, Poor Man's Melodyne. Um, if we keep going, we've got Maximus, which is from the good people at Image Line, made FL Studio. Um, it's multiband compressor. Uh, sounds really good. I used it religiously when I was in FL Studio and when I was first starting with Ableton. Shipped it on over uh, to this plugin folder and used it on everything but now I've got some other options but I really enjoy it uh, I do think there are easier options there's way too many buttons in this um, if you're looking for just like a simple compressor there's way too many buttons in Maximus but it does sound fantastic um, we have Dimension Expander from good people at Xfer uh, this is a free plugin it literally just expands your dimension. It makes your mono signal stereo or your slightly stereo signal wider and more stereo. Free plugin, super simple, is effective, especially for a free plugin. So if you need one, it's free. Uh, we have the E2 DSer when I'm working with vocals. This is my go to DSer. Uh, 
which sounds great. It works super easily, does it automatically. You just set your sensitivity and your amount and it takes out all of your the harsh S's that a vocalist might be singing. FabFilter Pro C, uh, my favorite quick and dirty sort of compressor. You can kind of just throw it on there, drop the threshold and be done. Um, and it sounds good regardless. Uh, it doesn't have, or you can make it have some super interesting characters, but it doesn't have them kind of built in. You know, like uh, the compressors that emulate analog gear have that analog character kind of built into it where this you kind of have to go searching for it so this is definitely my favorite I just need a compressor to be doing something right now sort of thing there's not a particular character about it that I uh, adore but you can definitely get it with the list of styles and whatnot that you have um, we have Pro L which is the best limiter you can buy and I honestly don't know exactly why I bought it because it's a limiter and it does limiting things but I have it now um, if I ever need it which is good enough for me I guess um, Pro MB uh, it's the demo so I actually don't own that one but I still haven't un uninstalled it Pro Q the best equalizer in the world it looks fantastic works fantastic you can do anything with it left right everything love it best purchase I've made hands down I would say VST wise uh, you have Pro R which is Fab Filters reverb uh, sounds really good I use it for my my room or my, my reverb send and my default template is just a Pro R uh, it sounds really good super high quality doesn't take up a ton of CPU which is big for me because it feels like everything uses a ton of CPU nowadays this doesn't sounds fantastic you can tweak just about anything with these uh, EQs or these uh, these graphs down here so it's really fantastic that filter Saturn which is another saturation thing saturation distortion it's got a ton a ton of options that you can do make multiple bands for multiple multi-band distortion which is super cool for more electronic sort of sounds comes in a ton uh, of use so I love that one uh, we have the gem EQ 55064 which this was actually I got this when it was on like a free deal uh, so I got this one for free. It's got a really nice sort of, uh, I've said this a million times, but analog feel. If you push the gain up past to, past where you might think, it starts getting some harmonics um, that sounds super interesting. So you can take a fab filter, or you can take this, crank some gain up, to get the harmonics and then take a fab filter and bring them back down so you still have the sound but it's not pushing in like the 10k range beyond what you would want you know so you can do something like that to compensate again I got it for free so it's it, I can't complain about that guitar rig 5 um, before I had my Kemper I used this for every guitar sound and then I bought Bias and used that for a while, but then I got the Kemper shortly after. Um, it sounds pretty good. Um, I don't use it a ton anymore because, again, I've got arguably the best recording setup you can buy with the Kemper. So it doesn't see a ton of use anymore. We have ImageLine Harmer, which is actually the first synth I ever bought. And uh, I was like, wow, they changed that initial patch, but sounds really good. T 
ton of options, more options than you would ever need. When I was super into the neuro thing, it uh, it had so many so many options that you can make the most disgusting bases ever. And these are just some. You can do crazy sampling uh, with it. it. It's probably the most in-depth synth I own, and I say that as an owner of Serum, so that's saying a lot. There's just so much you can do with it that it's actually a little overwhelming. Um, I'm just scrolling through some presets to give you an idea. Like, you can do just about anything with it. I love it. Um, the only thing about it in Ableton is you can't automate some knobs, which is, or I'm sure you can. I'm just too stupid to know how. Um, so that's worth noting. Um, image line Vocodex, we went over that up there. It's kind of glitching for me. We have Isotope Break Tweaker, which honestly I've never used. I just bought it for the uh, the sample pack that came with it, honestly. Um, we have Isotope DDLY, Dynamic Delay. Um, this is, A, it was free when I got it, so of course I'm going to grab it. And uh, if you just want some really trashed out delays, like stuff that just sounds disgusting in the best way this is a really good place for you to start sounds awesome in the worst way uh, I hope that makes sense but highly recommend it uh, isotope trash it's in the demo phase uh, it's actually probably expired never didn't really use it because I already have a handful of saturation distortion things it's just still installed isotope vinyl Another free thing. Um, it's good for that sort of hum. If you need that in a back in the background of something, it works just perfectly fine. Contact five. Um, I'm sure everybody knows about contact, but I'll go over the libraries I've got really fast. Contact fact factory selection. This is the free sort of sampler that comes with it. Don't really use it a ton because it was free. It doesn't sound great if we're just being brutally honest about it. Maverick. It's, it's a piano. There's not really a whole lot more to it than that, honestly. Um, it's, it sounds good. sounds good but it's a piano you know um, we have exhale from output which I'm sure you've seen advertisements for uh, everywhere but it's I don't even know really how to describe it it's it's just a bunch of like vocal based synth instruments sort of things um, it's super cool it, it's for somebody who doesn't work with vocals a ton and don't know, doesn't know all of the secrets to like chopping and sampling and stuff like that uh, because I'm a guitar player. <laughs> it, it's fantastic and it just gives it, uh, it's super streamlined. It just gives you what you want as soon as you want it. And it also takes forever to load, apparently. All right, so jump through a few. Stuff like that. Um, we got Una Corda, which is another sort of piano, but it's got some. 
is super quiet. It's got three different kind of styles. You've got a bunch of like the reverse button. That's my favorite part about it, honestly. So it's just another sort of keys instrument. Um, sounds really good, worth it, I would say. Then I've got String Ensemble Symphony Essentials. Um, if we just load it, the big patch. Uh, this is just, it's really good for really basic sort of string things. If you're super into the classical, like everything has to be hyper-realistic wouldn't recommend it necessarily. Um, sounds really good for what it is, but if if classical is your main thing, I I would recommend going with the Pro edition. Let's turn that down a little. Stuff like that. Sounds really good. I really enjoy it. Um, I recommend it if you've got money burning a hole in your pocket. So that's all my contact libraries. This is a long list, people. Jesus. Um, we got Lounge Lizard. Best Rhodes keyboard electric piano you ever heard. Um, I love it. I use it a ton. Uh, we got Massive, which I'm sure everyone's aware of Massive. It's been on every electronic album since the beginning of time, or 2007, either way. We got Neutron 2 from Isotope. I think it's from Isotope, right? I'm, I'm gonna go with yes, but it's a great mixing sort of bundle. Uh, a gate, equalizer, two compressors, exciter, transient shaper. Um, it, it's, it's basically the ozone. Like, ozone's for your master track. Neutron is for like individual tracks, I think is the best way I can describe it. Sounds really good. I use it every now and then. I'm not like a religious Neutron owner or anything like that. Sounds really good. Got it from Splice. Um, if you're looking for kind of an all-in-one mixing bundle sort of thing, I would recommend it. it sounds sounds good. Don't have anything against it. And then it comes with like the individual elements if you get the advanced part um, like here's just one of those compressors if you just really love the way it sounds and you can use a million of them instead of just the two that you're given so I'm not going to go over every single one of those um, got Omnisphere which same thing with Massive has been on everything that's ever been made since it's been released has a billion I think is the exact number, a billion and four presets, and they all sound usable in some context. Not every preset or patch is going to work in every track, obviously, but I can see where every single one I've tried works somewhere. We have OTT, which is a multiband compressor, um, and it just slams. Uh, it. I don't use it at all for softer um, softer compression. I only ever use it when it's trying to just crush a sound together. So it works fantastic for that sort of thing. It's free. You know, nothing to lose. Um, we have Ozone 8, which I briefly mentioned when we were going over Neutron. Ozone 8 is, some would argue, the premium mastering solution 
or something like that. Um, I really enjoy it. It works really well for me um, for mastering. Uh, it's got everything I personally need, everything I personally would want. If it doesn't have something I want, something in FabFilter or even Ableton Stock uh, could probably cover it. You know, it's super good. Highly recommend it. It is expensive, but you can rent it from Splice. Rent to own. Yeah, I, I highly recommend it. it. It'll up your mastering game instantly. Um, then all the different parts are individual. You have Pancake, uh, which is another free plugin. I love me some free plugins. Um, which, it, just imagine this is the panning of your sound over time. You can kind of manipulate if you have a very particular pan pattern in mind um, then you can kind of draw it in and make sure uh, and make your sound s squiggle around in air um, QL spaces which honestly haven't ever really used a ton it came with uh, East West Play um, I never, I have FabFilter Pro R, so I, that's typically one of my go-to reverbs, and I've never really used this, honestly. It just came with another couple plugins. Um, we got Quanta, which I recently got, actually. It's kind of a granular synthesis sort of deal, um, if we just go through a handful of presets. Um, it, it's got some super interesting. You got a ton of control with the envelopes, the LFO. You've got this giant matrix where you can assign anything to anything ton of control it's super cool I've just recent again I've just recently got it so I haven't gotten to dive in you know as much as I would want but um super cool some of the presets are bananas um, I recommend it obviously I recommend most of what I own because I own it and I try it out before I before I buy typically we got RC uh, retro color and as the name would imply, it makes things sound older. It's kind of a lo-fi machine. Um, I saw a Virtual Riot using it. Um, all of these little modules in it sound fantastic. I think this was like 70 bucks. Well worth it. I use it a ton, especially for the distort, wobble, and noise. Um, I, I'm not typically a bit crush kind of guy, so I don't really ever use that. Um, the space I've got a plenty of reverbs but this distortion especially the default one that opens up just pushes just right and makes it sound like it's kind of being pushed through an amp which is uh, I like that sort of sound given I'm a guitar player um, so this is my go-to lo-fi machine sounds awesome uh, Roth Air it's kind of a, a harmonic exciter um, sort of thing. Free plugin, or when I got it, it was a free plugin. It's nice if you just need a little bit of sizzle up top. I'll use it here and there whenever I think uh, it, something could use it. You know, it's not one of those go to every time sort of things. We got the Runctifier. Run, Runctifier. However, you would say that. Um, it's a filter. It came with the uh, Ubic effect kind of bundle. It's just a filter, really. Um, it's got a bunch of different settings to mess with, but uh, to me, it's just really a filter. Um, we have the crowd favorite sausage fattener, which, uh, if you don't know sausage fattener, it's a crazy compressor saturation thing um, and it makes your waveforms look like a sausage 
So just a block, essentially, with a fade in and a fade out. Uh, like 50 bucks if you want stuff to sound just greasy and disgusting. It works really well, so recommend that. Use it on a lot of electronic things. Sennheiser Ambio Orbit, honestly, don't know what this is. I think this was recommended to me by a friend. But it, uh, it looks like something I should probably dive into a little more. Um, we have Serum, which I don't think needs much of an introduction. Uh, it can do just about everything. It's I would argue it's like Massive 2.0. Um, even though Massive is actually getting a 2.0 with Massive X coming out in like February 2019, which I'm super excited about. So, Serum. I've used that a ton, and you guys have seen me use that a ton. Shaperbox. Um, Shaperbox is like an uh, accumulation of different plugins and parts to Shaperbox. I've only got the one part to it, and it's time. Um, and I use it a lot where it'll kind of glitch out a sound. Let me Actually, let me just see if I can... Perfect. So if I take Shaper Box, so it does that sort of thing, and I really enjoy it. It's super cheap too, which is a, a welcome surprise. So recommend that. Shaperbox Slate Digital FGX, which is a uh, an analog sort of mastering. I th I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be mastering. Yeah, it's it's a mastering uh, compressor, master master bus sort of thing. Um, use it every now and then. It's not a go-to, but it comes with the uh, Slate Everything bundle. So we have Superior Drummer One. And Superior Drummer, or I think it's actually Superior Drummer 2. And we have Superior Drummer 3, which is what I use all the time now, now that I have it. I don't typically go back to Superior Drummer 2, um, unless I want something super specific. Sounds super good. It's the best drum library money can buy, essentially. I'll argue that to my death. Um, I love it. Highly recommend it if you're into acoustic drums of any sort. Silent One. Use it for a ton of uh, sort of pads, typically. That's not a pad. So it's got a really nice, and I'm sure everyone knows what Silent One is, but um, it's got a really nice kind of retro, old school sort of feel. Um, sounds great. We have Citrus from Image Line again. It's an FM synth, but it, I don't ever really use it because I'm not a massive FM guy. Um, I mean, I probably should because it is crazy in depth, um, tons of options. I've been, again, back when I was more into the dubstep neuro thing, um, I used it a ton because FM synth gives you all the growls and whatnot. We have tonal balance control, which is it comes with um, ozone and neutron, I think, and it basically shows you where your EQ should kind of line up based on particular genres and styles. So yeah, pretty cool. I use it when I'm mastering mainly. <clears throat> uh, Ubic A, which is 
a, uh, a reverb. It's a reverb. It does some pretty cool things, but I typically have other options. But it came with all of these crazy things, like this delay um, that has like a ton of knobs where I kind of just scroll through patches to find something I would like. Um, but again, I've got Echo Boy, so I don't use it a ton. You have this flanger, which sounds infinitely better than Ableton stock flanger to me, which is these modulations are mainly why I bought the Ubic pack. And it came with like the ambience and the delay and whatnot. So, um, so I've got this flanger, which I really enjoy. Uh, we got this granular synthesizer thing, or this. I, I don't even know. I just twist knobs until something crazy comes out, honestly. Uh, got a phaser, which, again, to me, sounds way better than Ableton stock phaser. Um, we got an EQ. I have fab filter. Um, frequency shifter. This is a pretty neat thing. I Again, just kind of typically twist knobs until I find something cool. I don't really know what I'm doing a ton, but I bought these for the uh, sort of modulation things. And this is a tremolo, um, and my go-to tremolo, because I only have one tremolo, and it's this one. So whenever I need a tremolo, this is the one I go for. Got Valhalla Room, which is a really nice sort of room ambience. Um, sounds really good. Really enjoy it. I've had this was actually probably the first plugin I ever bought that wasn't like like an image line FL Studio thing. So I've been using this one for forever and I really enjoy it. Um, we have Valhalla Shimmer, which is a shimmer plugin, makes all the crazy high ambient ethereal sounding uh, reverbs possible. Really enjoy that. Um, and these are all like 50 bucks too, so they're really affordable, really really good. Valhalla Vintage Verb, if I need some kind of old school sort of thing, and you've got three different styles with a ton of different modes uh, in every style, so it's super versatile. I really enjoy that. Um, sounds great for when you need something like it. FBC FG Gray. Um, Jeez, we're 34 minutes in. Um, this is like a, a bus compressor. So if, if you have like a drum bus or a guitar bus or vocal bus and you just need to squeeze it a little bit, um, this is what I would typically go for. Comes with the uh, virtual mix rack. Or no, um, the Steven Slate everything bundle comes with that. Um, sounds aw awesome. I almost said awful. What a ringing endorsement. Um, this one, honestly never used, but it came with it, so if I ever need it, I have it. Uh, FG Red, same sort of thing, came with it. Don't use it a ton, but I have used it in the past. Um, a lot of these bundles just end up repeating themselves sometimes. FBC Rack, it's kind of all of those put in one you can kind of switch them around um, but it's a, a virtual bus compressor rack sort of thing uh, I just don't I just typically use this top part and it works perfectly fine for me uh, we have virtual mix rack which is probably my favorite um, it's gotta load it all in but it, this is my favorite mixing tool once it loads And it, it, for 15 bucks a month, I think it is, you get everything from Steven Slate. Um, so it's su it's probably the, the best investment you can make if you want to get better at mixing, is to get these for 15 bucks a month. It's kind of a no-brainer to me. So every module in this are based off of, or is based off a pretty relatively famous piece of hardware gear. Um, they all sound really good. 
they're all super useful su super usable um, 15 bucks a month I use it on every track I would say so highly recommend that uh, virtual tape machines just kinda gives you that tape vibe does whatever that does I'm not an expert by any means on what it actually does but it does give it sort of a tape saturation sort of feel and last but not least the zebra 2 I don't have it, it's still it's a demo that I was trying out um, then we have vocal synth and this is good for vocoder uh, talk box sort of sounds it's also got auto tune in it so if you have a singer that really can't sing and you just don't want to go in by hand moving at, uh, moving all the notes around this could help out um, this does everything you could need for any sort of cool vocal sort of editing or effects rather um, and yeah that took way longer than I was expecting to and thank god I didn't stop and give an example for every single one like I was planning on it because we're already 40, 40 minutes in but that people is every single VST plugin I own and use so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I hope you enjoyed my hour long rant essentially on uh, what I have like comment subscribe do all that. Uh, DistroKid, thanks for sponsoring. Love the service. 7% off uh, with a link in the description. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.